What's up track and field fans? In this video we want to talk Sherika Jackson, one of the big three in Jamaica right now. Of course she's the biggest in the 200 meters, that's like her pet event right now. And if Sherika Jackson doesn't do well in the 200 meters, it means that something is drastically wrong. But let's zoom in on Sherika for the 2024 season. So far we have seen her participated in a couple of races. And to be honest, Sherika Jackson does not look like the Sherika we have seen over the past couple of seasons. And of course, that's a part of the game because her season this year does not mirror last year or the season prior to that. It doesn't mean that she's not going to do well. So we need to get that in our heads. When I look at Sherika Jackson, I think currently she's one of the surest medals for Jamaica, hands down. Sherika Jackson is just that good and I think right now she's running herself into form and we will be seeing a very very different Sherika Jackson come the national trials in a couple of weeks from now but I think it's important that Sherika Jackson sends a strong message to her competitors in her very next race that Jamaica is still very much in the conversation of the sprinting both the 100 and 200 meters and of course we're always going to be in it where the 4x100 meter is concerned even though sometimes we mess things up so for the past couple of seasons Sherika came out blazing she was running races all over the place she was just going crazy and that's how Sherika is she's like she's like a workhorse she's going to go out there and she's going to give it 110 percent and we love that about Jackson but not too long ago I jumped over there on Sherika Jackson's Instagram page and she posted a video and had some caption and currently based on those hashtags I think she's just around where she wants to be right now at this point in time in the season so let us not think that Sherika Jackson does not have much to offer this year based on her first couple of races but I in fact think that Sherika Jackson is going to bring something super super special and when you think about the fact that she has not done so many races this year in comparison to previous years what if that is just doing some good for her what if in the previous seasons she had overworked herself doing so many races what if we see a Sherika Jackson who is more energized based on the fact that she's not burnt out she's not overworked or any of that kind of stuff this probably could be a good thing for her now last year when she did both the 100 and the 200 meters Stephen Francis came out saying that there's a possibility that he would not have her participating in both events this year because somehow we might have been thinking that Sherika could have gotten the world record had it not been that she was participating in so many races and of course she would have done the 100 meters before the 200 meters which would have seen her using up quite a lot of energy so sometimes a little bit of rest is good for the athletes so i'm saying that let's see what Sherika is going to do for this season but i totally believe that she's not going to be a walkover i think she's going to let persons know come national trials that hey i'm very much in the conversation i think she'll be sending the message that listen you have to bring more than just your a game you have to come super super special for you to stand a chance against me this year so we just want to continue to show some support for sherika jackson one of jamaica's surest medals for 2024 i do believe that she's going to do well in both the 100 and 200 meters now i think that she's looking for a bit of revenge especially in the 100 meters against shakir richardson who came out of nowhere last year in the race in that race i should say because of course shakir richardson was performing good on the circuit leading up to the world championships and we would have seen her beating Sherika Jackson on a couple of occasions and she did continue that into the final except for that semi-final race where Sherika Jackson took it quite decisively but in the final 100 meter race of that championship we saw where Shakira Richardson was in the outer lane and she just came up and she just took the race Sherika Jackson was shocked Shelly and Fraser Price was shocked but I think especially Sherika Jackson was not expecting that from Shakira Richardson at that point in time but nonetheless that was the result so Sherika Jackson in my estimation is looking to level the scores with Shakira Richardson so I think Jackson will want to go a bit faster than 
that 1065 pb that she has which is also the same pb that shakiri has so i'm seeing a jackson who has a lot to prove this year regardless of where she's at at this moment in the season i am seeing a sherika jackson who is hungry who wants more so guess what sherika jackson is currently hunting for her first individual gold medal in the olympic games in the sprints so she'll be trying her utmost best to make a statement when she reaches paris france and i'm saying that the national trials will be a strong indication of what is to come in paris 2024 so trust me if sherika jackson performs well at the national trials please expect there to be some serious fireworks come paris france if she doesn't perform well then there is still going to if she doesn't perform well at the national trials that is only going to mess with her confidence a bit but stephen francis and of course paul francis they know exactly what to do with sherika jackson i think sherika jackson is ready sherika jackson is ready and i'm expecting her to start lifting her game from here going on from the national trials into the olympic games and of course we will see what happens there and after that we'll be seeing a couple of diamond league races and i just know there's going to be a lot of smoke